This guide is meant for experienced players if you need step-by-step -step instructions on where to start the quest, how to get to certain locations, or other basic things of that nature. This guide is not for you. For the Mornings End Part 1 quest, you will need 60 range, which is not boostable, 50 thieving, which is boostable. You need to have completed Roving Elves, Big Chomp, Bird Hunting, and Sheep Herder. And the required items are a bear fur, fur um, two silk, one dye, uh, or one of a red dye, a green dye, a blue dye, and a yellow dye. Although it is recommended to bring more, um, two or three of each. A bucket of water, feather, toad crunchies, magic logs, leather, ogre bellows, and about 10 coal should be fine if you follow what I do. Um, then I'd recommend bringing stamina potions, um, anti-poison antidotes is, can be helpful, actually that's yeah, probably not really required or needed at all. Um, I used it just a second ago getting here, but other than that, you, I don't think you will need it at all. Um, so stamina potions, um, dueling ring, a weapon, and I wouldn't really bring any other armor and have lots of inventory spaces free because you will need them uh, later on in the quest. Then also a Remington teleport, a Taverly teleport, and lots of RD teleports. Uh, to start the quest, speak to the Luned. Your option is one. So once you're here, speak to Aryan Win. I have to go through all the dialogue with him, teleport to Artie. And then run west. You just want to head west along this wall. Just keep heading west until you see this big gate and you want to go through that. Once you're there, you want to attack a level, I think, 11 mourner. So just run along this path until you see one. There he is right there. Lower your stats, um, but he should still be pretty easy to defeat. Then, once he's dead, pick up his stuff that he drops. You can equip some of it if you don't have inventory space for it all. Make sure you make sure you pick up the letter, then teleport to Clan Wars. through the portal and out. Use your teleport crystal. Head over here to the shop. Speak to 
two or in one. Which options three. Again, options three, and then just top worlds. And you should be done. So speak to him again after you hop. Options three. All right, I guess never mind. Just speak to him. Teleport to Taverly and run south east. Basket. Which options one? And teleport to Artie. Head west. Use your soap on the top while you're running. You can drop the soap now. And put on your mourner outfit that you picked up. Take off anything else that's not part of the mourner outfit. So these are the only items you should be wearing. Head over here to West Artie and up north to the Mourner hideout place. And to the door right here and down the trap door. south into this room to speak to the head mourner. Which option is one? No. We should give you a key and stuff. Um, you want to use the key on this cell door over here. Go inside, speak to the gnome on the rack. option is three. Use your feather on him. Use your feather on him again. And speak to him. Release him. Speak to him again. You want to hop worlds again. Speak to him again. He should give you a fixed device. Now you want to teleport to the Jewel Arena. Or you want to make your way down to the Feldup Hills. So I'm going to be taking the glider since I've done one small favor. I can take it down there. If you haven't, then you'll have to find some other way to get down to Feldup Hills. Once you're down here, you want to head over to a swamp. Actually, I guess you don't even have to come down here. You can go to the swamp south of Cast Wars. That'll work too. But anyway, once you're down here, you want to use your dyes on your ogre bellows and then use that the ogre bellow on the toad. Uh, my ogre bellow is full right now, so I'm going to have to empty it first. You need an empty ogre bellow. So now that mine is empty, I'm going to go ahead and use my red dye on the ogre bellow. And then I'm going to use that on the, on the toad. Give me a red bloated toad. Then I'm going to use a green dye on the ogre bellow. Use that on a toad. I'll just do that same thing with all the dyes. This should give me a color, um, color toad, depending on which dye I put in. Okay. 
Since you have all those four colors, teleport to Artie. And I would recommend actually getting two or three of each color, uh, just to be safe. You don't need them, but you can fail on this next part, and if you fail, you'll have to go back and get um, another colored toad of whichever part you mess up on. So over here, these are red, so I'm going to use a red toad on the fixed device, and I'm going to wield that and click aim and fire. Now you want to line up the sheep, and once it's lined up in the center of the crosshairs, uh, click the little red button in the center to shoot the toad at them, and that will paint them another color or something. Over here they're green, so I'm going to unequip the device, do the same thing. They can move and make you miss, which is what would make you have to go and get another toad. But if their shade of color changes, that means you hit them, and you're fine to move on. These are yellow, so I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow. Go ahead and aim and fire. That is those ones done, so there's only one left. The blue ones over here. done. I almost missed. Started walking away right after I shot. So anyway, after you finish that, you want to head back to the mourner hideout. Once again, make sure nothing but your mourner equipment is equipped. Inside here, down the trap door, south to this room with the head mourner. Speak to him. After you speak to him, you want to um, head out to the west side of this building that we're in, outside of it. So head up here, through the door, and then over here. There should be a rotten apple on the ground, pick that up. I can click on it. Alright, so once you get that, head southeast. Out the door. Head east and then north. Up to this house up here, speak to Elena. Speak 
through again. She should give you a sieve. I want to head out and then northwest. Head to the large enclosed area west of the combat training camp. Here, head into this gate. Take a barrel over here. Use it on the apples. Then use it on the apple barrel. Should have the apple barrel. Teleport to Castle Wars or head to any any bank you want to and withdraw your barrel of tart. Um, coal tar, I think it's called. And unnote your coal. Teleport to Remington. Barrel of coal tar. You want to head over here to the chemist's house. And on the west side of his house is the fractionalizing still. Use your barrel of coal tar on it. So to distill tar you use your barrel of coal tar on the fractionalizing still and copy exactly where I click. So over here on the tar regulator you want to click on the right side of it twice. This pressure gauge will start going up then you want to click on the pressure valve once the arrow hits the green. And now uh, so the knob should be pointing up on that one and the knob should be pointing right on this one and this arrow should not be moving anymore, it should be still and this heat one is about to move, you want to go to the center, click add coal twice and then a third time after you wait a second and then you just want to wait for the heat gouge to start going down like that and then you add another coal and then just wait for it to start going down once it starts going down you add another coal and you just repeat that, wait for it to start going down then add a coal Wait for it to start going down, and then add another coal until this bar is fully green and it is complete. Then I'm going to teleport to Artie. I'm going to use my barrel of naphtha on the apple barrel. I'm going to head into this house. Use your sieve on the naphtha apple mix. Then use that on a range. Now head to West Hardy. You can drop your barrels, you won't need them anymore. And they weigh a lot. Now you want to head over here into this um, prayer altar place and use one of the toxic powders on a grain of sack or grain sack. Then head north through this door and then open this other door right here. Use your other powder on the grain sacks in here. out, head back to the head mourner, after you speak to him that should be quest complete.